What's going on guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another video for you guys and this is going to be a collection update of my physical media. Everything that I have collected from the year 2022, trying to get videos out, a couple videos to close out the new year or open up the new year if I have to upload one of them on New Year's Day, the day after, because I am filming this on New Year's Eve, December 31st. And on this video, I'm basically just going to be giving an update on my collection of movies, video games, CDs, pretty much anything that I picked up throughout the year of 2022 and they're going to be older releases that I just decided to buy this year and they're going to be some new releases of course and I have a whole s multiple stacks here of video games CDs and movies so just going to give an update of what my collection consists of I might have missed some because I might have already stored some but a lot of these I had just you know just put aside that I haven't really organized into my collection yet which is why I was able to pick these out some of them since you know basically time flies and every day is just blended in together some of these might i might have got closer towards the end of the year of 2021 i'm not sure and like i said i probably missed some that i did get from this year but guys if you enjoy content similar to this if you're new to the channel please subscribe you won't regret it and if you enjoy the video give it a thumbs up if you already subscribed coming back to watch another one of my videos welcome back i appreciate it thanks for coming back and guys we're going to get right into this we're going to start this off with wwe crown jewel 2022 I'm not going to talk too much about any of these. It's just way too much to go through. Just given a glimpse of my collection update. I'll mostly purchased from the year of 2022. And then we have the Christmas Classics Collection on 4K Blu-ray. Then we have Christmas Vacation 4K. Then we have Christmas Story right here on 4K. And this is the video game Fatal Frame. Made in a black water for the PS4. Then we have the Clerks 3 Lionsgate Steelbook 4K HD right here. Then we got Chucky Season 1 on Blu ray. And here's a CD from Kane Brown. It's a country mu uh, music artist. Yes, I do like some country music. And this guy, it's just, it's like a mixture of country and RB. And I'm a fan of RB and country, so I figured why not? This is one of his newest CDs. And then I believe I did get this this year as well from like a record store. I got the Halloween 2 score soundtrack. And this I got from Dollar Tree, of course. We got Santanic Panic, but of course this is the Walmart version that Dollar Tree had just called Panic on Blu-ray. And then we got the Friday the 13th, the original on 4K. Then we have Fall on Blu-ray. I Know What You Did Last Summer, the 25th anniversary on 4K. And then we have Pearl on Blu-ray. Batwoman, the third and final season on Blu-ray. Then we have Flash, the complete eighth season. I believe I got this this year as well. It could have been late last year, I'm not sure. Black Christmas, the remake on Blu-ray. Rumpelstiltskin, the horror version on DVD. And a TV show most are probably going to laugh at me for, but I just happen to laugh at it and I still enjoy it. It's a Nickelodeon show called Sam and Cat. And I just happen to like Ariana Grande, and I just thought she plays a, she does a great job of playing a stupid character that she does on this show, and I just thought it was hilarious. So, I mean, I still enjoy watching it from here and here, and my niece likes to watch it, so I'll watch it with her. I was able to get this cheap, which is why I got it. And then we have another CD from Zendaya, Tom Holland's Girl. Of course, you get MJ right here. I like her music. And then we have another video game, the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me for PS5. This I got from the Dollar Tree pieces of April. Never seen it, but you know, for $1.25, I like Katie Holmes, so I figured why not? And then we have Disappointments Room. I do remember seeing this in the theaters and I actually enjoyed it enough. I just didn't want to pay, you know, full price for it. But Dollar Tree, why not? $1.25. And then we have Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, the Target exclusive. And then we got the first Tom Cruise Top Gun movie on 4K, the Steelbook. I do not have Maverick yet, sadly. And then we have Phenomena on Blu-ray. This is the exclusive steel book that's hard to find. I know there's a 4K out, but you know. And then we have Spider-Man No Way Home. I could be wrong. I believe this. I know the movie I think came out last year in theaters, but I believe this came out to physical media this year, I believe. And that's when I got it, which is why it's in this video. It's the Best Buy exclusive steel book, the first print. And then we have another video game, Pokemon Violet. Another video game, The Medium for PS5. It's a horror game. You know I love my horror stuff. Another horror game, The Quarry for PS5. 
Now we got Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection. It's basically a collection of all the retro games from back in the day on the one disc on PS5. WWE 2K22 for the PS5. And we got Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol for the PS4. Evil Dead, the game on PS5. Then we have The Batman. 4K Steelbook, Best Buy Exclusive. And then we got Scream. I still call it Scream 5 even though it's not on the case. Scream 5, 4K Steelbook. And we got Silent Night, Deadly Night Collection, Part 3, 4, and 5 on Blu-ray. And then we have Jurassic World Dominion, a 4K Steelbook. And then we got the first print of the Halloween Kills, Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook right here. I haven't gotten Halloween Ends yet. I'm waiting for it to arrive next week. I don't have it in time to do a video for my collection update, but I will be getting that still book as well. And then we have La La Land, the Lion's Gate still book on 4K. And I'll just throw these together. I got the Scream Factory set of the Child's Play 1, 2, and 3 4Ks. Well, we're actually almost done already. And then of course, Terrifier 2, the Best Buy exclusive 4K right here. This actually just got recently. This is a 2016 SummerSlam event from WWE, but I got it this year, so I figured why not. And then we got WWE Extreme Rules 2022. This, I believe, I got this year. I'm a, I actually enjoyed this movie. I know some didn't, but I enjoyed it. And then we got Captain N, The Game Master, the complete series. And then we have the Willies DVD, and it comes with a bonus Halloween Scary Sound CD. And we got Groovy Ghoulies, the complete series on DVD. And then as I got from Dollar Tree as well, it was a blind buy. I love amusement park horror movies, and we got Devil's Fairground. But that's actually going to do it. That's everything that I got. It's going to be hard to show all the stacks, but here's one stack right here. I know this is nothing close to what most people usually get within a year, but I can, I'm very limited with what I can buy for myself now. Everything that I buy now is usually stuff to resell because that's my main income. For those who do follow me and are aware of that. So it's very limited when I can buy stuff for myself. But I do get stuff for myself in my own collection. As you can see, some of it is actually behind me. But that's going to do it for this video. just wanted to close out the year of 2022 just with a collection update video of at least most of the stuff, if not all, that I did purchase this year. Maybe a couple things I missed that's set up on my shelf somewhere. Maybe a couple things here that I probably got at the end of last year, just blended it all together and just don't remember. But a majority of these, I will say everything I got this year. Just wanted to do a collection update video and say Happy New Year to everybody. Hopefully you had a good 2022 and hopefully 2023 treats you better. And just be safe everybody out there for who might be out drinking and whatnot. Enjoy yourselves. Thanks for supporting me throughout this year for those who have hash subscribe and you've just been watching my video even if you're not subscribing you just somehow still watch my videos thanks for all the support i appreciate it hopefully we can grow this community more and build up this channel some more but guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you enjoy content similar to this and if you're already subscribed thank you like i said for everything that you guys do just being here watching my videos and all the support i appreciate it thanks for coming back but i will see you all in the next one happy new year take care